Hey everybody. So this video is a little bit different because I've never done this before. So this is my first, very first, completely brand new to me review. I guess it's a sponsored review. I didn't get paid, but I got the item that I'm reviewing for free. So I guess it's a sponsored review because I've reviewed things before, just told you how I feel about them, but not from a company that reached out to me and specifically asked for me to review it. So this is the first time I'm doing that and I hope to do more. So I know I'm gonna butcher the name of this product. I know I'm gonna butcher the name. <laughs> Um, so I'm sorry that I'm butchering the name, but I'll put all the information to the product in the description box. Guys, please go to the description box before you start asking questions because a lot of times the information you want is there. And uh, peruse a few of the comments because sometimes I've already answered that question. Just that's for any video, not just this one. All right, so um, a company reached out, uh, a gentleman from a company reached out to me about a seat cushion for your coccyx your coccyx you know i guess that's your tailbone right or you're somewhere in that area i think not that i have an issue with that area of my body um, my lower back and my hip and my knee hurt when i drive a lot but um not my coccyx i've never had an issue with my coccyx but i wanted to try the cushion anyway because i wanted to see if maybe there was a relation between um, some alignment maybe that the pillow was supposed to kind of help out with that that maybe that would help my hip as well that was my biggest thing is will this make my hip feel better can I drive longer can I drive you know I don't know so that's why that's why I agreed to do it so this is it the company is called the Yokaro Yokaro that's how I'm saying it I know it's Japanese but I'm assuming it's Yokaro or something to that effect so this is the pillow after me using it for about mm, not quite two weeks almost two weeks well maybe it has been two weeks yeah it might have it might have been two weeks already if not two weeks very close to two weeks so it has a handy dandy buckle on the back that you can wrap around the seat now I did find that this does not fit my seat in my car so that's why it's not stretched out because my car seat is too wide for this. Um, I did take this into the library with me one time and you could put it around a regular wood chair or a plastic regular chair in your house. It would probably fit there because it is adjustable. You can adjust it with this on this side and it's stretchy. So um, it seems well made, but I don't know because I didn't really use the clasp, but just the one time to see if it would fit on a library chair and it did. But, um, yeah, but it seems like it's sewn on very well. The stitching seems very well sewn, and it's sewn across a, in a box shape. So I think it would probably work well. It does have um, little beads on here. These beads are like anti-slip, so it doesn't, it doesn't move around on a chair that would be plastic or wood, which is nice. And you can feel they, have, they give it grip and texture. So they're like... Um, I want to say they're kind of rubbery or plasticky, but not a smooth plastic. They've got some grip to them. When you rub your hand down it, you can feel the texture and the grip. So I did not try and take the cover off, but it does have an un... It looks like the cover comes off. So I'm going to just unzip it on camera for the first time. So yeah, so the cover comes off, and you would just push it through the hole and then take it off on the other side. So it's washable, so that's good. So this is the memory foam. I just wanna show you the memory foam. And it's probably a good two and a half inches thick, maybe even three. But remember, I've been using it for two weeks, so it's compressed a little. And it is a very dense memory foam. And as you know, memory foam, it'll press, and then it's supposed to expand back. Sorry about that helicopter. So, um, so I'm going to rate this on a five-star scale because that just makes sense to me, I guess. 
and I'm gonna rate the um, just a few things about it. So the first thing I will say is the style or the look. Those go together. So I'm gonna give it, oh, let me see, the zipper got stuck, hold on. As far as style and look go, I'm gonna give it a four. Um, and the only reason I'm giving it a four is I don't know what other colors it comes in or materials it comes in. So I almost feel like um, it was a little bit, this material, which is like a, um, it's not a, I don't even know how you would describe it. It's almost got like a felty feel to it. As you can see, you know how you, you um, run the carpet over the rug and you get those lines? So I think it's, sometimes it felt too warm. That's what I'm basically trying to say. So I think it would be nice if maybe it came in a more breathable fabric, possibly. Maybe, I don't know. So I don't know if it comes in other colors or anything. It does have a carry handle. So if you want to take it in, into a restaurant with you or into a um, library like I did. So it does have a nice carry handle, which is sewn on very well as well, like the other. So that works. Um, it does have the cutout, which that helps give you some breathing between your legs. And also, I guess it's good for the men because, you know, you don't want your junk squished. And as you can see on the back side, it has this raised up area. So you sit right in there and this is the, the coccyx area, you know? So you do have a little bit of this on your lower back, very, very low back, right? Right above the, um, where your buttocks split. So right, right in that area. And then there's a nice between the leg bump. Now the only, um, so, uh, like I said, style, I would give it a four, just because I don't know what other fabrics it comes in or colors or anything like that. So, um, the other category I'm going to rate this in is um, uh, userability, I guess, or I don't know how to call it, but I guess user, userability, usability, usability maybe? So, um, it was good. It wasn't great. And the reason I'm not giving it a great is I feel like for me personally, and I'm sure other people would feel that way, is I would have liked it to have been a little wider. It's not as wide as my car seat. And you know, when you sit, your butt spreads, thighs spread. So at times I felt my, I found myself fidgeting with it while driving because my legs were either on this edge or slightly off this edge on both sides. So I felt myself constantly like pulling at, pulling at it, like wishing it was wider. Um, so I do wish they'd make a different size, maybe do this size and a large size. So I'm gonna give that a four as well, that it needed to be a little bit wider this way and maybe another inch longer because I, I feel that where this was hitting my thighs when I sat um, was uncomfortable. I wish it were longer and hit my thighs a little, you know, I, I really wish it was just the size of my seat, basically my car seat, and hit me where my car seat would hit me. Sorry, something just blew in the camera. I have a, um, what you call it, a um, dream catcher, <laughs> and the wind is blowing. I have the door open. Anyway, sorry about that. So I kind of wish it was the size of my whole car seat as far as the width and the length because I did feel like um, over time this was bothering where it was hitting my thigh. Um, not a big, big deal, but, um, you know, it would have been nice. So I'll give that a four as well. So my overall with this is probably going to be between a four and a four and a half. So it's good and it's very close to being great. And... Um, had I paid for this, I probably would have contacted the company and said, hey, do you make this in a bigger size or do you plan on making this in a bigger size? And then um, would hope and pray that they would be because that's my biggest thing is it needs to be a little longer and needs to be a little wider. Now, because it was made in Japan, it could be that uh, most Japanese people are a little smaller than us Americans. And so maybe they measured it off of 
the sizes of the average Japanese person, not the average American. And um, it also could be that they didn't take into account that when you sit, stuff spreads out. So you kind of, your body spreads out. And if you're wearing really thick clothes, you know, you know, that takes up some extra room. So, you know, like when I had my sweatpants on, I noticed a difference than when I had my jeans on. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of have to take that into account. This also, this material made me very hot when I had my sweatpants on versus my jeans. So, um, but overall, I think a four to a four and a half out of five is not bad. It's really not bad at all. So um, I did, um, the gentleman who contacted me, I had told him that I had mostly an issue with my lower back and my hip when I drive. And I did end up having to go to Burlington and get a, a um, lumbar support pillow. So in conjunction with this and the lumbar support pillow, I was quite high in my seat because this is really thick, dense, you know, you got like three inches of foam here. So I couldn't wear my hair wraps too high, even though it did compress a little bit after being used, it didn't compress enough to make me back to my normal seat. I mean, my normal size in the seat. And my car is old, my van is old, so I don't have, my SUV had this feature where you could adjust the seat height up and down as well as forward and back, and the back of the seat back and forth. This car, I don't have that luxury, so I couldn't put my seat down, so whatever the seat height is, is the seat height. So when I put this on it and sat on it, I felt like I was huge in the seat. So take that into account if you're going to buy one that um, you will feel really, really tall, which is good if you're really, really short and you need some height. But um, I did notice a plus that my hip did not hurt as bad. And I'm gonna think that that's because maybe my body was more in alignment with the curvature of the pillow. Maybe my body was in better alignment and so my hip didn't hurt as much. But this, again, started to bother my thighs after about an hour and a half, I was like, pressing it down, wishing it were a little bit flatter or a little bit longer because it seemed to like almost, you know, I'm lifting my legs up as I drive like this and kind of tapping underneath my thighs. It's almost like my legs went to sleep a little bit. Um, so yeah, that either needs to be much thinner right in here so that it blends into my seat or it needs to be a couple of inches longer so that it hits my thigh in a better area. I'm um, trying to think what else can I say about this pillow. So I did learn that they make a um, lumbar support, but unfortunately because I'm on the road and it couldn't get to me quick enough to the stops I'm going to, I could not get it. So I'm hoping to get the lumbar support this summer and use it while I'm hanging around and, and traveling up and down the East Coast and I can use the two in conjunction and see how they work. Now, with the $12 lumbar support, support that I bought at Burlington Coat Factory, it's okay. I must admit, they both together take up a lot of room in the seat, and I sometimes feel like I'm too far forward, and I can't put my seat back but so far because my bed is on this side. So I think once I get to a friend's house, I'm going to try and see if I can go in the back and pull my bed up about an inch to two inches, that way my seat can come back because I feel like I'm so far into the steering wheel a little bit. But other than that, it was good. So um, yeah, I think you would probably wanna, if you machine wash this, you wanna do it on delicate probably and then let it air dry, the cover. And um, the, the, I can tell the memory foam is good memory foam. It's not super cheap memory foam, it's good. And the only thing about memory foam is when it's cold, memory foam gets hard. So it did take a while for me of, you know, the first 20, 30 minutes of driving before it softened up to my shape because I live in my van and it sits in the van. And so overnight it would get really rock hard. And then in the mornings I would sit on it and it would be so hard. But after about 20 to 30 minutes, it would soften and kind of curve into my nooks and crannies and the way my body works. But, um, so yeah, so I'm going to have a coupon code. So the Yokaro can be yours and you get a little bit of a coupon code. Check the description box, box, sorry, check the description box if you would like to get one for yourself and try it out. And when I get the lumbar support, I'll do another uh, review on their lumbar support. So I hope this information was helpful to anyone who is suffering from any kind of, um, 
coccyx issue or maybe a hip issue and you're looking for a better seat than the one your car comes with or just a seat to sit around the house in the office you could take this to work um, you could take this to the park to sit on those hard benches at the park or even a sporting event you could take one of these to sit out sit on you can even put this in one of those sports seats that have the backrest you know those sports seats you could sit this down in the seat part so you have a little bit better cushion because i've sat in those seats before and you know they do not feel good but you do want a backrest so you could use this in conjunction with your sports seats you can leave it in the trunk um so when you do go to somewhere and you're like oh these seats are horrible you can just go out in your trunk and get one i mean get this so yeah by all means you try it out and if you buy one in the coming days or weeks and um, let me know what you think of it. You can either email me at hellocrystalvanner at gmail.com or you can come back to this video and put it in the um, comments and let me know what you think about it. If you already have one and you're just like, hey, I have that already, let me know what you think about it um, in the comments, all right? Thanks for watching this video, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.